Over 350,000 Canadians are living with atrial fibrillation, including 6% of individuals over the age of 65 in BC alone. Atrial fibrillation, or AFib, is one of the most common heart conditions. Its prevalence increases as we age. Most importantly, those with AFib have a risk of stroke that is three to five times greater than those without AFib. Common signs and symptoms of AFib are a rapid heartbeat, breathlessness, dizziness, general fatigue, and chest pain. However, not everyone shows symptoms. Atrial fibrillation is an irregular heartbeat, fast irregular heartbeat. We have a pacemaker, right, that regulates the heartbeat. It tells the heart whether it should pump more quickly or whether it should pump more slowly. In atrial fibrillation, we have heartbeats occurring outside of the normal pacemaker. And what that does is it affects then the ability of the heart to pump blood. So the upper chambers are not pumping very effectively, they're quivering, and they aren't really delivering in blood to the lower chambers. And what that does then is that the lower chambers are not able to deliver the blood and the oxygen to all parts of the body. It is important to recognize that alcohol intake, stress, poor lifestyle, and high blood pressure can increase the occurrence of AFib. People can do lots at home to manage their atrial fibrillation. So lifestyle certainly is a very important focus. Getting out for walks, engaging in physical activity. Obesity has been linked to atrial fibrillation and so losing weight. Managing stress is important as well. Strategies you could use to control an AFib episode when it occurs would include things like deep breathing is always very helpful. Meditation or yoga, any of those types of practices are always very, very helpful. Taking time out of each day to engage in physical activity is an important part of living with AFib. Make sure to stay hydrated and include a 10 minute warm up and cool down with each exercise session. Exercise is an important part of living with atrial fibrillation uh, because it really improves fitness. And by improving fitness, really it allows the person with atrial fibrillation to engage in those activities of everyday living, their regular activities of everyday living with less effort. Even though you may not have access to a gym or to a recreation center where you live, you can do activity in the home or outside in your yard. You can do stairs, and it may be difficult, but you need to keep working at it. No matter what activities you engage in, making exercise a part of your daily life is important for managing AFib and your health. Even engaging in exercise can have both physical benefits, but also psychological benefits and social benefits too. Whatever the case may be, it just makes, it makes life easier. Always remember to detect signs and symptoms, protect against risk factors, correct through exercise, and perfect your lifestyle when living with atrial fibrillation.